Hello everybody, this is Handy863 here bringing you another video today and I'm finally here kickstarting off my Mario Kart 7 Let's Play. Now of course I am playing this Mario Kart 7 Let's Play, the reason pretty much why I got this uh, 3DS capture board as well as to play Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Nintendo 3DS and other games that I used to play on my Nintendo DS which I can record on here via DS capture software. Anywho though, I haven't played on Mario Kart 7 for about 6 months now, literally not at all. I didn't put it into my 3DS, I didn't play on it on my sister's cartridge either, or my cousin's, so it's going to be all new. I've got the game right here. Well, it's not going to be all new, I've played the game before. There are many videos on my channel that show that. Um, so in goes the game. <laughs> nice. Um, I do have some street passes with it. I street pass with my sister and my cousin and a few other people. So let's go and take a look and see what's in here. Now after the Let's Play finishes, I will be live streaming this. Um, and the li um, the Let's Play is actually going to have a little bit outspread um, uh, with its episodes. <laughs> Unlike with my, um, what you might call it, Let's Plays, my Mario Kart 7 Let's Plays. This is going to be a little bit more, um, my Mario Kart 8 Let's Play, sorry. This is going to be a little bit more outspread because I was just trying to rush it and see what could happen within the quickest amount of time. So what I've just gone on to here is the Mario Kart 7 channel, um, TV channel, whatever. Basically like Mario Kart 8 channel, I guess. Um, and I, I street pass with so many people. So we've got um, SNES Mario Circuit 2, Spot Pass Data, Coconut Mall, Waluigi Pimble, and Cooper Trooper Beach. Let's see who we street pass with. Joshua Grump, my sister. Greg. Uh, Ran Rainbow Jeff, or what? Louise. Joshua again, and Josh again. Except Josh is a rookie. Why ever that has happened, I don't know. That's the proper Josh. As Josh a grump. And the last time we street passed, I don't know. I think that was when we were racing online. I don't really know. Alright, but anyway, those are my street passes. So those are the people you'll probably be expecting to play with me into the Let's Play. Anywho, let's start, shall we? Right, Grand Prix, here we go. As you can see, I, I haven't done any of them yet, but I've already unlocked some stuff because I, I did some racing. Um, as per usual, compared with my Mario Kart 8 Let's Play, I'm going to go all standard with this. And the first one, let's go. The first one, not the fast one, the first one, let's go. Also, when I first edited the video, um, where I cut out the black borders around the edges on the um, capture software. There was a slight black line um, down the bottom screen. I hopefully cut it out now on Vegas. I managed to move the thing just a little, but if it's still there, do tell me. And I'm hoping this Let's Play gets a little bit more successful than what I've already done for Mario Kart 8, because although that was successful quite a bit, a lot of, um, it kind of failed throughout towards the end. Like, it fell down a bit, basically. So, um, yeah, let's see how we could do on this. Well, basically, um, 50cc I'm not really expecting to have much of a problem on, because, uh, it's easy. As you can see, there's, um, no one around. This track is also on custom tracks, so, uh, yeah. I just wanted to get that. It's also really, really slow. It's actually quite, really, well, quite really slow. It doesn't make any sense, really, does it? But it is slow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I usually don't make that mistake. <laughs> nice. I did that on purpose. Because I thought it'd be a bit more interesting. Oh. I'm getting 
getting a little bit of lag on the software. I'm not looking at the software, but I'm listening into the audio via the software. So ju just so um, it doesn't play out through my 3DS. I think it's a bit easier that way because my headset doesn't plug in very well into my 3DS, as I found out. Wow. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of going down a little. I don't know why that is. There. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. You can view the replay. It's brilliant. Ah, oh, this course. I am not keen on this course whatsoever at all. I don't like it. It's bloody... Pathetic. I'm also not very keen on um, recording this because my computer is um, a little bit slower than it was since I previously got it. The, so that was when I um, did the Mario Kart 8 Let's Play. I literally got it um, this laptop three days before I recorded Mario Kart 8 um, it's because the data um, well it's practically filling up basically so um, with my money I'm gonna try and get a new hard drive because I have a bit I have um, OCD for keeping all my electronic files um, for memories and stuff so I'll see if I can go this way I'll see if I can go this way yeah I can go that way <laughs> Alright. I'm still way ahead again. Oh, I almost missed that trick. I was looking at the bottom screen. Yeah, that's, that's why I don't really like Mario Kart 7 that much, because as well as the mechanics of the driving, um, the, the bottom screen you can eat is also permanently zoomed into the minimap. Which is alright, but it's, um, I think it did that in DS as well, but it's just really off-putting if you want to, um, yeah, because I, I can't focus on both screens, uh, neither can really other people, uh, even in the video probably, for that matter, but, well, it depends, I mean, it might be a little bit different in that sense, but it's just a, a bit hard, I'd say. Although it's nicer, because I, I think you're a little bit more free to basically play this whether you wherever you are, um, practically. So, um, because it's on a handheld, basically. I mean, I can, not on this 3DS, that's for sure. I've not really taken this 3DS out much. Um, I do every now and then. Like, I took it to an art trip on, on school. On school, with school. Uh, nobody knows that I took it with me, uh, unless they watch the video, so... <laughs> there you go. To me an entire year to save up to get the capture board fitted. And annoyingly what's happened is, um, I sent the capture card to the US to get it, um, sent the 3DS to the US to get it fitted, which it was is a second hand 3DS that I only got that year, which was last year. Um, I had it for about two weeks before I sent it off to get the capture board fitted because I had to wait till after Christmas to get all my Christmas money and I used my birthday money to buy the 3DS itself um, but then when I sent it to the US after it arrived back well, um, after it arrived back from the US basically um, which is like a month after I sent it it basically it, well Loopy um, revealed that they, he was um, fitting converters so that you could fit the um, GameCube controller onto the uh, 
the 3DS capture card. And from the point onwards, um, he's now developed that um, converter, so you can also fit um, classic controllers on it. So if I also ordered that, once the capture card, if I also ordered that as well as the capture card, which was only a few more pounds, which I didn't have at the time, and the converter wasn't released, I could be playing this with like a classic controller or a GameCube controller, which would be unfair. Um, in all Mario Kart series that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to play them with the controller that, not that I'm comfortable with, the controller that I um, think is best. Well, the, the one that's generally the one that is meant to be for that game. So, for Mario Kart Wii in September, I'll be playing that with the Wii Wheel. I will be um, playing like one or two episodes with the Classic Controller and the GameCube Controller and the Nunchucks, for that matter. Um, but most of the time I'll be using the wheel. So there you go. And I'm using all um, using all carts possible, so I'm not just going to go for the fastest one that I think. I'm just going to use all I can. But basically just like Mario Kart 8, let's play. But varied for the different Mario Karts in general. Anyway though, back to, talk, um, back to talking about the race, where am I? Quite far ahead. So I think I've got a fairly easy win on my hands, the fact that... Oh, there we go, spoke too soon. I think that was the first time I got redded in the entire game um, that I played on today, so... Let's see what else I can do. Also, just to let you know, uh, I don't think I'm going to be... Pl I'm not playing as well as I think I am, um, assuming that I went on a residential uh, this weekend. And I went up a huge, I pulled myself up a huge climbing wall basically. Um, so my hands, my fingers and arms hurt. And holding onto a small object like this um, hurts a bit. <laughs> Hence why I'm only recording one Let's Play today. As well as the time that I'm recording this, I don't actually have an intro re um, repaired, prepared for the videos that I'm doing, so. Right, this is the one that always got me out on my sisters. Like, I would always lose this one. Uh, so this is my most hated course in the game. Also, I'm not sure way to get the perfect startup boost. And what I was going to say earlier um, was uh, the tail. Uh, I wanted to know if it actually speeds you up or is it just a defense item. So if anyone does know that, because I'm not too equipped around handheld Mario Karts very much. Um, but if, if anyone does know, please do tell. Oh, I didn't trick across that because I thought I was holding a classic controller. So I went to the... What do we call it? Above. Let's go. Well, I'm actually... Well, yeah, I, I think this is kind of going to be the easiest Let's Play that I could possibly play in my life um, for the first half. Three stars, no doubt, yeah? And you can't trick up those stairs, I take it, because I just tried and it didn't work. Yeah, I always go up here because I think it's closer to the wall, so I think it's quicker. I tried doing the same thing where I trick again, where I, I, I'm i just thinking that the control pad's above my analog stick, and just try and go for that. It's not even the control pad on here, is it? Because if I do the control pad, it does that, which I don't want. <laughs> the game actually looks faster when you do that, doesn't it? Oh, that's horrible. Okay, I'm going to stop. Shy guys. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. That was the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> the, if I had face cam on, you'd see the face that I was pulling. But um, no, my webcam is a pile of crap. I don't know what's happening to it. it just oh, hello, my friend. What are you doing? I think in this game, the blue shells are the hardest things to dodge. You can dodge them, but they're just really hard to dodge on this game. See, 
how long this drift I can do is. Ah, uh, close. Yeah. Probably not the longest drift in the world. Um, not the longest drift I've ever done, that's for sure. Well, I've got such a lead on everyone, so it's just not gonna not gonna affect me at all, is it? Oh, Luigi just overtook Peach at the last moment before I go went across the line. That's fantastic. Yeah, I can't 60 on this one. I can 40 because yeah. All right. Well, that's um, the first ever win that I've recorded for Mario Kart 7 for this let's play. Now you get to see me fly in as Mario. Luigi's celebrating in his... We're all using the standard car. That's just funny. And the Luigi's the old one out because he's just put once two wheels on his. <coughs> oh, Luigi, you're fantastic. Oh, computer Luigi's the best, Luigi. I, I just... I... <laughs> Man, that's fantastic. Three stars, there you go. So, oh, I've unlocked the flower cup. I've collected 100 coins. A new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. Well, that's, um, yeah. I, so you, you could probably guess that it wasn't 50 because I did that practically when I did the other videos I did. Anywho, though, um, so yeah, that concludes probably the first episode of this Let's Play. Um, that was quite interesting, actually. Uh, I don't really have any much more to say to this. I don't know how long I've gone on for already because I can't see the time on my catch thingy. But um, that was um, the first part of the Let's Play. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Well, I, well, actually, no, that's a lie. I didn't think it was so interesting to the point because I was so far ahead on Mario Kart 7. But yes, yeah, so... Um, do leave your comments about what I can drive in the um, next Let's Play, um, and I shall take your comments into account, and you probably use that. No one did it for Mario Kart 8, so um, yeah, I'm going to be a bit cheeky and post this around on both uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Miiverse, so then more people can get on, uh, rather than just posting it onto um, YouTube. Um, expecting probably Connor would leave some comments about it, yeah. Luigi's probably going to be the next character. I use the characters along in the line that they appear in, so yeah. Um, and there's not many characters in this. There's only eight, so I'll probably have to reuse some again, other than uh, in Mario Kart 8. And probably in um, Mario Kart Wii as well, there's the perfect amount of characters for the Grand Prix, which you can do. Anywho though, um, that is it. Um, that's probably enough of Donkey Kong driving around GBA Bowser's Castle or something like that. Um, but in other words, I thank you all for watching. This has been Handy863. Good luck with your life, and I shall see you again later.